what is going on youtube welcome back to another video and do you remember this where it was a part of the now abandoned town of bill Meyer, which we will save that for another video well that's what we're going to do today we're going to explore the abandoned town of bill Meyer, which has its roots back in about about mm, I think 1914 and we're gonna go to the other day I'm gonna tell you the history and we're gonna explore around the area to see if we can find anything that was left over or you know just check out the the formations of the buildings that are still there well I hope you guys remember this place because this is where I'm parked at and I mean the reason why is this abandoned town is actually right next to the White Cliffs so we don't have to go too far away it's just a little walk right around that way over there and it's probably about a quarter of a mile and we'll just we'll walk there and go the easy way because if you go over this way where the white cliffs are and you go to the left uh it's really thick and it takes a lot longer to get to the bend town and as you can see by that pole right there, we're starting to see a little bit of the remnants uh, of the town. So we're gonna keep on going. Yep, we're getting a lot closer here. Starting to see a lot of the foundation of the buildings. But as you can see, we're starting to find a lot more ruins here. And check this out guys. Got some machinery that's still around. It's like rusted. I, mean, I don't know where it is. That might be like something like a, uh, looks like a gas meter. This is awesome. Oh, you know what? Check out this. Got that nice blue tint to this glass. That happens when a lot of sunlight hits it. Oh, sunlight. It's a lot of sunlight hits it. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep it there though, because there might be some other explorers that want to see it. You can see back there there's a bucket, and there's some metal around here too. But we're gonna keep going and trying to find some more. Uh, there's actually a Hudson car that still is laying, like rusting around here that I want to find, and I want to show you guys that because that's that's a cool one. And I can see there's a spider web on the lens right there. <laughs> But we're gonna keep going and oh hold on a second I found a cylinder right here check that out that's cool but we'll still keep going and we'll still try and find uh, this Hudson car because I think it's not it can't be too much farther from here I think it might be that way or this way but we'll figure it out okay guys so I found a better path there's actually a little bit of a path back here to Bill Meyer so this makes it a lot better. There's a ton of spider webs. Tons and tons of spider webs, but there is a way over here to get to where I want to be. We're gonna check out this place right here. It's another building that was in Bill Meyer. And there's actually an entrance down here. I might have to go in there and check it out. I gotta find a way to get around here because there's not really too many easy ways. And it is filled with poison ivy and bugs. But we're gonna go in there and figure it out. Oh, well, you know what? There's actually a way around this way. Let's try that. So, as you can see right here, there's some some old metal right there. It must have been some roofing. All those buildings are made of like concrete. And people left their trash over here, which is not cool, but it is what it is. There's some more metal over there. And as you can see, like the windows and I can't tell exactly what this building was for, but I'm guessing what might have been someone's house or something to do with their industrial because uh, they worked at the Quarryville, the Quarryville, the Quarry. 
mixing my waters up today. The quarry that was over there by the White Cliffs. So that might have to do with some with it. Uh, but that's basically what most of the income for the people are here was the dolomite in the limestone. But I'll tell you that soon in a voiceover. But it's pretty cool being out here and be able to check these things out. Well, one thing is bugs don't really bother me, but I wore long pants today. And it is like, it's 88 degrees outside right now and I'm I'm sweating. But I do it because, you know, I'm more afraid of copperheads out here. So just in case something, so one of them tries to bite me and hopefully that gives me some type of cover. Back in the early 1900s, Billmeyer used to be a booming town with a great economy due to its industrial products that were needed at the time, but later became abandoned just like this car. This story goes back to the 1840s when John Haldeman built two lime kilns in Kenoy Township, Pennsylvania, where the kilns produced 3,000 bushels of lime per year. In the expanding steel industry, lime products were in great demand and it was very profitable at the time. The pure calcium limestone was highly sought after and utilized for various purposes. After the limestone was harvested, it was burned in the kilns and sold to local farmers as fertilizer, whitewash, and plaster. Haldeman owned the quarry until around 1896. And around 1914 to 1918, because of World War I, there was an increase in demand for refractory products. Raw materials were vital to the war effort, and companies like this were responsible for manufacturing many items such as shoes, helmets, weapons, ammunition, tank, ships, and much more. And during World War I, when America's trade for magnesite was cut off, J.E. Baker Company, who was in charge of the quarry, was the first to supply the substitute for the rich dolomite at Billmeyer. The growing quarry had become a huge industrial operation, but the work was really dirty and dangerous with low pay. It was during that period that Billmeyer became a booming company town. Many laborers and their families lived in the company town where they worked, lived, and worshipped together. But in the 1940s, the demand for dolomite production began to decline. And because there was no work to be done, it gradually became a ghost town. Eventually, all mining operations were concluded in 1957 and the last workers were forced to seek other employment. After that, Bill Meyer became a part of history. And what was left behind? A car, building foundation, homes, and yes, the White Cliffs of Kanoi. All right, thanks for coming on another adventure with me in this video. That was fun. You know, I like being in the outdoors, getting spider webs all over me. I forgot to put bug spray on but you know i think I'll, I'll check for ticks when i get back hopefully there's no ticks but i'll have my wife do that but anyway i hope you had a fun time and liked going around bill meyer and seeing all this great stuff and all this like cool history and you know of course this abandoned car right here like that was probably one of the best parts when i come here is seeing this old i think it's a hudson i've been told it was a hudson but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it. But anyway, if you haven't yet, please click subscribe. Give me a like button for this video if you liked it. And hit the notification button so you can see videos when I post them. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. And I'll see you on the next video.